Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to see a different uh, video series on how to enable mailbox auditing for a specific uh, recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange 2019. So let's get started. If you're new here, kindly subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, I really appreciate your support. So in order to accomplish this, we have to use uh, Microsoft Exchange uh, management shell. I've not been able to see where to, for example, where to enable that from the mailbox features right here. So that's why we're going to be using the management shell for the day. So once you log in or once you launch the exchange management shell and before i continue let <laughs> let me explain a little bit why we are doing this or uh, what is the mailbox auditing in exchange actually is a feature to track and logs action performed by the mailbox owner or administrator or delegate and the main primary use is just for security and compliance purposes. So, for example, if somebody said, oh, this email or somebody deleted an email from my mailbox and they complained that to you as an administrator, you wanted to investigate that. So one thing I find out is if you don't turn on the, the auditing for the user before this kind of action happened, there's not going to be anything to view. So these actually need to be turned on before the action. So how do we get to know much information about this? I would like to, to get the mailbox to see if we have any user that have uh, the audits turned on in our environments. So, um, I'm going to call the name and also audit enabled. <laughs> I have a very small environment, so in your case, it's going to be a lot. So there's a way actually you can you can pipe things around just to show you who have the mail audit enabled or not. In my case, I only have one. So I wanted to turn on the mail audit for user one. How do we do that? The same way, all we have to do is to set the mailbox, pipe out the identity, and uh, specify, in this case, it will be user one, and I'm going to set the audits Enable, I'm going to set it to true. And that's it. So let's check. So now you have that audit enabled for user one. So let's see some other information like uh, what are we enabling? Like. <laughs> Like let's see, let's 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 see something. Let's get the mailbox, the identity, user one, and let's pipe it to audit. Now we can see that the audit enable is true, and we have some additional information. Like oh wow, audit add me. We have move. We have delegate, we have a uh, audit owner, which is not bad. So how do we check some information right here? In order for me to search for the mailbox audit log, most of the time, this is how I learn. So I actually go to Bing and I'm going to type in search audit. Uh, search mailbox audit log. So I click on it. And I was like, what can I see 
if I use this syntax. I go over here and I pipe, let me see, what can I say? I want to call on the identity of the user that I want to track, which is, uh, you pipe in the identity and user one. And what else can we do? We want to show details. So we can show details. All right, let's see what is inside the details. So from the bottom, I see that somebody say item object I. <laughs> somebody send an email. Okay. Uh, the origin is from this server. We have a user one last access identity. Huh, we have a lot of information right now the mailbox owner. So you can use this parameter right here, the syntax, I'm sorry, and to pipe in to get a lot of information that is needed. So if I should go ahead and log in as user one, let's see. This is user two, let me send an email to user one. Let me do an email, user one. And I'm going to send, uh, this is a test. This is a test. Yeah, that's not the correct spelling of test, but I just put it that way. So I'm going to go to the sent item. This is a text. This is user two to user one. Let me go ahead and sign out and sign in as user one. Okay, Peter, again. Again. I'm typing too fast. <laughs> All right, we have the email and I said, this is a test. So let me go ahead and delete it and go back to my to my message and go ahead and check again let's see if we're going to see something new right here mm, okay we perform an action today okay let's see Come on. If you look at these, uh, you can actually tell where it's coming from because it said, okay, last login owner. Then we're logging from this IP address user one user one okay look at that this is a test even though we have deleted that email we're still able to find the subject there should be a way to see the the message body by using the some parameters or some powershell to display what is inside the message say we find that inside the deleted items so if somebody just come to you and say oh somebody delete my email actually we should be able to find that with the audit log right here so with that being said everything work as expected so that is actually how you set up and audit for your recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to, to comment down below or test it out in your own lab to see what's going on. And, or if you wanted to test something, then we can do that. 
Thank you so much, and I see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.